Revit has an entity known as a filled region that's used to represent some type of material. Back in the old days when we were drawing with a pencil, it would have been considered a poche pattern. In more of an AutoCAD environment, this would be considered a hatch pattern. But in Revit, it's called a filled region. Now let's take a look at how to draw a filled region in. We're going to draw in some gravel or some stone. Underneath this floor, down here at the bottom of our view, zoom in to this area here, directly underneath the garage floor. And we're going to fill this area in with a stone or a gravel pattern. Come underneath the Annotate tab and click the Region command. When you do that, it brings up the Filled Region tool. We can see that currently it says Filled Region Diagonal Crosshatch. If you click there, take a look here on the list, select on Gravel. Unfortunately, there's no way that we can click right inside of this space and have it automatically fill with gravel. So what we need to do, come up here, select on Rectangle. Pick about where you'd like to have that gravel start and then draw in the area where it should be. And then clicking again, when you're done, come up here to the big green check mark and click it. Then finally, click out in the space. And now you're going to see that gravel pattern showing up here underneath where our floor is located at. So a hatch pattern, or in this case it's called a fill pattern, is used to fill in an area with a material indication so when it comes time to detail it out, we'll be able to tell that's gravel there and we'll have something to point to if we wanted to place a piece of text there that said right here is where gravel is going to be.